Hello everyone, this is Mega Amster, and I'm back with some Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. This is part 17. Uh, in part 16, we finished the Mudbog Island uh, Den of Evil, the Obliette of Suffering. We beat Dagron. Dagron is actually pretty hard. And then afterwards, we got, uh, what is it, what is it called? The Lost Soul. A soul that has lost its way. Who can speak to the undead? Oh, look, we have five heart squids. But yeah, so what we need to do now... Oh, where am I exactly? Uh, we need to get out of here. Uh, we're done with Mudbog Island for now until we need to 100% it. Uh, ooh, that was a wet one, excuse me. <laughs> but now is not the time for 100%ing. How much you want to bet? We probably can't get that heart squid yet. I think I know how to get the heart squid. We probably have to use the boots that we just got in part 15. But we can't. Right, we probably have to go up there and run from there. Land on here and boom, go through there. That's got to be it. Okay. But we can't get it yet either way. But what we need to do is this lost soul that we got. Um. Oh, jeez. Should I just use a pirate's flare or... Yeah, why not? I have one. Might as well use it. We'll just use it because I don't feel like going through this. It's gonna take another. Like it's gonna waste a whole five minutes if we just go through that. No point at all. So okay, okay, we have some dialogue. You're back. Apparently, you made it through. By the skin of my teeth, I found your boots. Risky boots. Ah! Hilarious. And the source of the pirate master's evil. I took care of it. Then let's clear out of here. There's no time to waste. You gave the frostbite map. And here we go. This is the final main island, which is Frostbite Island, which also has some sky elements, as you can see, by the propeller thing up in the in the sky. We'll see what this island is later, but we're not actually going to head to Frostbite Island yet. We actually have some side stuff to ca take care of. Now, we're going to need someone to look at this soul for us that we found in the Village of Lost Souls. Now, who do you think would be good to talk to about that? Probably... The undead, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Roddy Tops and her brothers, and we're actually... Oh, I forgot about that. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was weird. What the... I did it again! I did it another time. Okay, let's actually stay above here that time. Good. Good. Yeah. But what we need to do is we're gonna head to uh, Roddy Tops' house, and we're gonna actually talk to them. Whoa, that was close. We're gonna talk to them about... Uh, the soul, because this soul is somewhat important, not really to the main story, it really doesn't have anything to do with that, but you'll see, you'll see, it'll make more sense in time. We can't go anymore over here, right? Yeah. So let's go in, into the house and we're going to talk to them. Look who's back. So what's this I hear about you and Risky Boots? Well, what? Uh-huh, you're all high and mighty when it comes to us. But I suppose you could team up with her and that all's fine and dandy. You've got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. So what brings you all the way out here anyway? Oh, um, I found a place. The Village of Lost Souls. You don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I'm working on. None of your biz, sis. Aww. <laughs> anyway, I found this here. Or I found this there, I should say. You gave the lost soul. How cute! It's a wandering soul! It must have been separated from its body and can't find its way home. Whose soul is it? Only one way to find out. You just need to trigger the right memories. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life. Something he'd never forget. Or true love. Someone he or she will remember for all of time. Or something embarrassing, like maybe he did diaper commercials as a child, what? And he still wears them because he misses being in the spotlight. You're wrong. Who said that? Comfort and convenience ain't no crime. Whoa, it's Barracuda Joe. See, that wasn't so hard. Here, take the spirit back to him. He'll be up in about no time. Well, assuming you kept the body. If not, I've got a few spares lying around. Okay. You got the spirit of Joe. So yeah, it turns out this is actually... Oh, I love the mustache. Wow, I can't believe it. It's not a big deal. Listen, Roddy. I met someone in the village of Lost Souls. 
she explained some things to me, and, well, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. Really? Through thick and thin, no matter what. Big brother? Think she means it, sis. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have her for dinner? Oh, God. That's the kind of garbage I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so I like the mustache on it. Oh, nice they added the mustache. But yeah, so this is Barracuda's Joe's spirit, actually, which is pretty interesting. Um, you know, I'm going to try something from over here. We're going to try using the boots. I want to see if it, it might unlock some kind of secret. I'm not sure, but we're going to try it. Nope, that did absolutely nothing. Okay. Thank you, Poe. But yeah, so we should actually go back to Scuttletown and give this to Joe. You know how he turned into that uh, stone statue because of the curse that he read that was on the statue. Uh, and now we can give him his soul back and hopefully bring him back to life. That's the plan anyways. So yeah, we're, we're going to head right back to Scuttletown. Yeah, we're ready to shove off Risky. Let's do it. Back home. Here we go. And as you can see, if you listen to the music and just look everywhere, the com aesthetic has completely changed. Ammo Baron has just completely turned the city into like a mechanized war zone. Um, we're actually going to uh, take care of some hard squids first. Because we can. So here we go. Look, watch these squids. Ready? Poor squids. I guess I didn't even realize this, but there's actually an achievement, because uh, I'm playing this on Steam right now, and there's actually an achievement for um, getting all the heart squids, but not actually destroying them to get more hearts for you. You just save them all and just don't use them at all, which is kind of dumb, but like I can understand why you do it. Okay, we can actually... Do we want to learn the power kick? No. Oh, do I want shampoo, silky cream, or pistol tune up? You know, let's do the pistol tune-up. Um, okay, that's sold out. Should we buy some food? Oh, we can only buy potions. You know, we should buy some potions. But what do auto... What's the difference between auto potions? Auto magically. Auto magically? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, we'll buy plenty of potions. There we go. Um, everything else we should be fine on. There's nothing else we can buy right now. So, we're good here. And now our pistol is maxed out, so it produces this really cool purple glow. Um, yeah. I'm gonna save quickly, because we just upgraded ourselves, and we... Yeah, we got uh, another heart, and we upgraded the pistol and bought some potions. Quite a bit of potions, because we could use those. Especially since we're kind of low on food. And now we're going to go back to Sky's house. Ooh, actually, first, uh, look who's, look, it's your boy. Your boy standing outside the building. Not to you again. I thought you were out of my hair for good. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you've done to this place. The last mayor wasn't too bright. That's an understatement. Ha! <laughs> but at least he cared about us. You're just using this place for your own selfish gain. It's my town and I'll do what I want. Drat. When's that blasted targeting module going to arrive? And where's Barracuda Joe? I can't install it without him. You seen him around? Kind of nondescript guy. Um... And what happened to my new recruits? Come to think of it, they never did come back from the palace. What's taking them so blasted long? We can't get this show on the road without them either. Maybe we need to head to the palace. But, okay, here we go. Here's Barracuda Joe. Whisper softly to Barracuda Joe's soul. Awaken sweet baby sunshine, what the heck? Shante, get away from him! What? Leave him, he's an eternal testament to my status as a bachelorette. No way, I won't let you waste your life standing there like that old man I destroyed. <laughs> I give you Barracuda Joe. You gave the spirit of Joe. Hey, he's back. Hmm, Barracuda Joe's alive. This is absolutely incredible. I... how did you accomplish this? Shanta, you're the most amazing friend ever. I'll never question your judgment again. Ahem. Joe's had time to think. And, er, uh, a lot of fish in the sea. And all that. Well, back to work. Aw, oh, poor Sky. Poor Sky. W w what? Come back and marry me, you scumbag! 
I'm gonna go to see this guy. Yeah, we might want to leave. <laughs> okay. And there's your boy up there. I still need that targeting module on my new recruits. Okay, so... How, we can't even get up here. That's the thing. I want to talk to Joe, but it won't even let us get up here yet. Um, it's kind of weird. But, yeah, so we freed Barracuda Joe. Now, what we can do... So, he said there were recruits that were at the palace. I think we're supposed to head over there and actually see if we can find them. So, I don't know if we'll even be getting to Frostbite Island yet. Oh, uh, the targeting module we don't have to worry about until Frostbite Island. But right now, we should head to the palace. And check out what happened to those new recruits. Wait a second, I know exactly... Okay. I remember now. Okay. I'm not going to say anything, because it's kind of funny. Uh, you'll see. See, what I like about um, the Shantae series is that, especially with uh, this game and Risky's Revenge, is they like to take characters that don't seem that major and reuse them. Like, the uh, main example of that would be Squid Baron. And some more characters, as we'll see once we get to the palace. But yeah, I really like that about... Um, I really like that about, about this series, is that it makes the characters way more memorable because of that. Which I think is really cool. Yeah, we already got that hard squid a little while ago. Hello, old man. Thank you, old man. There's a couple secret areas in this game, too, that maybe I'll show off later. Oh, you know what? I could... Actually, that's... Hold on, let me try that. I'm pretty sure there was an area where if we used the boots in here, it could help. Yeah, just like that. Look at that. Now, what did this do? Yeah, okay. There's some, like, secret area. I don't even know where I'm going. What was the point of that? There's literally zero point in that. But okay. Unless there was a secret well hidden in there and I just couldn't find it. But let's head to the palace. And oh, look who it is. You might recognize these characters. Oh, look, it's Brandon. He secretly transforms into Branson. I don't remember these um, voices. He's very popular here all over the world, but where's his enchanted blade? Why am I staring at this totally buff, gorgeous loser? He's supposed to be Branson. Come on, guy, transform already. Total ripoff. The Enchanted Blade is probably sealed away in a desert. Okay. So, here are the new recruits. Um, if you remember, these are the girls from Saliva Island who were bathing in the dragon's saliva, which was disgusting. But yeah, this is them, and they're the new recruits from Ammo Baron. Unfortunately, they won't leave because they're waiting for Branson to get his sword. So, now's the time to get the sword. I wish there was an easier way to transport... Uh, I guess we can just do this. I guess it's the best way to do it. Saves time, I guess. Whoosh. So now is the time to get the sword. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, did not see that. Okay. Was I... Sp Literally. Come on. Come on, dude. What if I just want to run? What if I just want to be like Sanic and just start running? Gotta go fast, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're definitely not getting to Frostbite Island in this part yet. Oh, jeez, I almost had that, too. I want to do that now. Hold on. Let me try it. Oh, it's ruined it. You blew it! There we go. Yeah, it doesn't help a lot, but where are we headed again? Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to set sail, and we're going to go back to Tanline Island, funny enough. Um, there is some backtracking involved in this game. Not a whole lot. It's... Uh, minimal backtracking, honestly. Uh, if you want to just beat the main story. I mean, if you want to 100% the game and get all the heart squids and cackle bats, then... Yeah, you gotta backtrack even more. Okay, so I should probably... Did I explain the purpose of the cackle bats? Like, you get dark magic from them. But you need to get all the dark magic in the game in order to get the true ending, which will be a lot more understandable once we actually get to the end of the game with the final boss. It'll make more sense. Nope. Okay, so I think this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. Ready? 
crumbling floor, but we can get right past it. Because of the boots. We just rush right through that. We've got a chest. Let's see what's in here. And look at that. You've got the enchanted blade. And yes, that is Branson's sword. So we're going to go give it back to him. And then probably end off the part there. What am I doing? I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. There we go. Now we're talking. I got the pike ball. Hey, need more pike balls. Super pike balls would be better, but that works too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll just run all through these guys. I didn't even think of doing this earlier, but it works. See, this upgrade really helps. It's very similar to the upgrade in Metroid. If you've played uh, like Super Metroid or it was in Fusion as well, I think. What's it called though? It's called the Dash. It's like the the spark, the the shine spark, but that's the ver that's the when you go vertically. I don't I don't know. I'm not I don't know all the details about Metroid stuff, but um what I need to do now, I don't need to get uh go give Branson his sword. But first I'm gonna have a nice refreshing bathe in the sp the natural spring water. Refill our health. And I'm gonna save here. And now we're going to go back over to the palace, give Branson his sword. And move on from there. Boom. Gotta watch out for those pits, because there's plenty of them over here. Ah! Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What's going on? Now we're good. Just keep going. Look at this. Saves so much time. And just everything is destroyed instantly. And here we go. Is that... Is that the enchanted blade? You found it? Yep. Here you go. You gave the blade. My blade! Now that I have it, I'd better make myself scarce. I'm pretty sure my good friend Branson is about to... Make a sudden appearance. Oh gosh. Shh. He's gonna say the words. Hey guys, we should go get matching purses. No reason they should be ju ju be just for ladies anymore. Am I right? Hey fellas, don't leave, fellas, come back. It's literally he man. It's Branson. Shout your battle cry. I gained the advantage. <laughs> now then, only a trio of others are privy to my deception: the bald enchantress, man with guns, and the hob mage. And now me, four. <laughs> Right, four. Together we protect Castle Boneface from the uncouth legions of the Grim Reaper's ghost. Ah, your adventures sound kind of cooler than mine. They are, and I'm also an excellent role model. I'm not, on account of my bad temper and outlandish outfit. Eh, depends on how you look at it. Oh. <laughs> Just remember, kid, it's not what's on the outside, like skin and hair. It's on the inside. It's what's on the inside that counts. A kind heart and blood and your guts. That's what makes the whole body go round. Thanks, that means a lot, Brandon. Whoa, whoa, who's Brandon? Knock it off, you're just the same guy, just with a jazzy halter top. Okay, show's over, get going, and remember, tell the truth and be true to yourself. <laughs> ah, sweet, we saw it. Yep, the Grim Reaper's ghost will pay good money for this info. Okay, let's head back to Ammo Baron before he notices we're missing. See you, girlfriend. What? The girl's from Saliva Island? You work for the Ammo Baron? Then we're just like, okay, what's going on? But yeah, that's... L <laughs> I love how it's just a complete rip-off of... Uh, He-Man. It's great. I have the power! Okay, so we're just going to save right here. No, nope. I thought this was a save point. Oh, uh, I'm getting it. Okay, hold on. No, we have a save point right up here. Don't worry. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'm experienced. There we go. I'm just going to save right here, and we're going to stop this part. But, yeah, that's it for part 17, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, like this video if you liked what you saw. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Just let me know your feedback. Uh, if you want to subscribe, see more of this playthrough or other stuff, then, you know, if you subscribe, you'll know when I upload videos. So, just saying, convenience. And uh, leave me your feedback down below in the comments section about whether it's specifically about this part or about the whole playthrough or any of my content in general. I just want to hear your guys' opinions. And 
part 18 we should be heading to Frostbite Island finally and exploring a bit around there yeah definitely so yeah that's it guys thank you again and uh remember you all have the power just remember he-man's words the words to live by the key to success